Smooth, quiet, and powerful, the all-new Manny Pro Passport Portable Electric Nail File from Koopa Incorporated. Contemporary design and amazing colors. Powerful, lightweight, and comfortable. The handpiece is less than an inch in diameter but produces up to 30,000 RPMs of vibration-free power. The Passport makes a great traveling companion. For more information or to find a distributor in your area, contact us at 800-994-5872 or check us out on the web at koopainc.com. Hello, welcome to Kupa TV. My name is Yuri Castillo and today we're going to show you how to create an awesome mixed media technique. We're going to use products like acrylics, gels, and watercolors. To start off, we're going to build a long sculpture pink and white nail. And after we're done, we're going to paint with our watercolors this beautiful rose print design. Pay close attention and I know you're going to love this design. We're going to start by prepping the nail the way we would regularly do the nail prep we're going to use our cuticle pusher and push back the cuticle remove all the tritium around the cuticle area and we just want to remove the shine of the natural nail once we remove the shine we're going to use our nail prep system we're going to use a dehydrator first Now we're going to use a acid-free primer. And now we move on onto the form fit. We're going to be using our infinite form. We're going to remove the form. We're going to remove this part. We're going to use this part later to add some adhesion to the finger because it's a plastic finger so it's harder for it to stay for a long period of time. We're going to close the tip of the form, separate the end, put it underneath the form, underneath the free edge, lift it up a little bit because for this now we need it to go up instead of going completely straight pinch on the tabs from this lateral side close the tabs underneath and this part we're going to use it up here to give more strength and now we're done with our form fit the next product that I'm going to be using is our Awesome clear builder gel and our Affinity brush gel flat number six. I'm gonna pick up a bead of clear builder gel and I'm gonna apply it right on the apex area and I'm gonna pull it out towards the free edge. to create the free extension. One tip that I recommend that you always keep in mind is that right at the tip of, of the free edge, you wanna thin it out completely. So that once we apply our, our white, when we filed to a very thin point, we don't file onto the clear because this is just the base for us to apply the white. Now that we have a very thin layer, we're gonna pull back on this area. Notice how with the white, with the clear, I didn't build up. I just made a very thin, clear, layer now we're going to cure inside the lamp 
for 10 seconds and then we pinch and then we fully cure for one minute. Now we're gonna use the help of this tool to fully cure for one minute. This will help the nail to look more narrow. And now we bring inside the lamp for one minute. After we fully cure the base with the builder gel, we're gonna use our regular tweezers and we're gonna remove, pinch a little bit to remove the form, to separate the form from the builder gel. And then we pull down and now we're able to remove the entire form. As you notice, we have the, this part a little more wide and the tip has to be more narrow. The next product that we're gonna use, it's gonna be our Divinity Cover Pink Acrylic and our Divinity Sculpting Brush number eight. We're also gonna be using our traditional monomer from our Divinity line. I already poured some into this dappin' dish. I have it halfway so that I can properly pick up the product and create a perfect ratio. We're gonna apply it right on the apex area. This will be the high point of the nail. And now we work on perfecting the smile. Once we are happy with the shape of the smile line that we have, we're gonna go ahead and pick up our second bead of cover pink, and we're going to apply it on the cuticle area. We're gonna put the finger downwards so the acrylic will fall and perfectly mixed with the first bead of cover pink that we use. Make sure to always clean your side walls and leave a very good shape on your smile line. Now we're gonna use the help of our shaper file. We're gonna use the 100 grit side to refine the shape of the nail bed. You wanna make sure that both of the high points of the smile line meet at the same line, at the same height. Once you're happy with the shape of your nail bed, we're gonna use our nylon brush to remove the dust. And with the help of our Gelfinity cleanser and a little wipey, we're going to remove the sticky residue and the dust. The next products that I'm gonna be using will be our Gelfinity White Structure Gel. 
and I'm gonna be using the same size gel flap number six, but I like to use a different brush so that I don't cross contaminate my gels. I'm gonna pick up a big size bead of white and I'm gonna apply it right on the smile line and I'm gonna pull back onto the high points of the smile line and pull forward same thing with the other side I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna come in and define the smile line by cleaning the surface even though it's gonna be filed but we always want to make a cleaner job once we're happy with the first application we're gonna go inside the lamp and cure for one minute now that it's fully cured we're gonna do a second coat to build up on the white on the part of the smile line and then we're gonna pull it forward I'm gonna pick up a second large bead of gel. We're gonna apply it right on the smile line. We're gonna clean our brush and then we're gonna work our gel. Now that we applied the second bit of white gel to build up on the smile line, we're gonna cure inside the lamp for one minute. Now that it's fully cured, we're gonna remove the sticky residue from the white with the help of our Gelfinity cleanser. Now I'm gonna use the help of our Money Pro Passport to create the shaping process. I'm gonna use a high speed and I'm gonna start by beveling down on the smile line. We want to create a smooth surface. Now that we have even out the surface, we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna refine the underneath shape. And at the tip, we're gonna cut down in a slanted shape. Using the Money Pro Passport will help you save a lot of time when you're filing your entire sets of nails. Now that I have given shape with the electric file, I'm gonna move on back to the shaper file and I'm gonna refine the shape, create a profile. And I'm gonna even out the side walls. Now that we have finished our filing process, we're gonna remove the dust and we're gonna use the soft side of our shaper buffer. Lightly smooth the surface. Remove sharp edges and now we can use a little wipe and remove the dust, clean the entire nail. 